Hello, I'm Carl Bradshaw from Chaparral Motorsports, and today we're looking at the installation of potentially five Zeta components on this KTM 390 Duke. Now our customer here was looking to get his handlebars up a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do is swap out this riser set here for the Zeta risers. So this is going to allow us to replace the stock riser and top clamp with this Zeta riser, and that's gonna allow us to be able to install a handlebar. Now the nice part about going with the handlebar is the fact that you get to choose the height and the rise and the pullback that you get from the bar. So we found a bar that's gonna be perfect for his application, giving him about an inch rise. Now before we jump to the installation of each of these parts, let's go ahead and jump on the motorcycle so we can show you the difference or the change in ergonomics that we're gonna get by installing these products. When looking at the cockpit of this motorcycle, the customer was feeling a little bit leaned over on the bar. So we're gonna get a good side shot of what this setup currently looks like. What we're planning to do is go ahead and raise this bar up about an inch so that the customer is sitting more in an upright riding position. As you mentioned earlier, we're gonna do that with the installation of a set of risers and a new handlebar. Let's get busy. The first thing we're gonna do is lay down a couple towels here on the tank in order to protect the surface of the tank in case we happen to drop a tool or lay the handlebar on top of it. So right now we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock handlebar. Now that's gonna be removing the end caps here, removing the grips, the control box housings, the clutch and brake lever clevises, getting this bar completely naked so that we can then get this off the bike and replace the risers. Here we go. Now that we're here ready to remove the OEM risers, we wanna take a look at positioning. So you can see here that the center of the bolt is right here in the center of the triple clamp hole here. It comes up. These risers are currently set for the bar to be fitting a little bit further forward. You can see that the bolt here in the center is a little bit offset. So if this rider wanted, he could flip this clamp around and have the bar sit a little bit closer to him. The same situation is gonna happen with our Zeta risers. We wanted to make sure that we have them set up the way that this rider is gonna want. Now let's get the stock riser clamp removed. So pay attention to how it comes apart so you can make sure it goes back together in the same order and fashion. change a little bit either direction. So I think I'll go ahead and slide my grip on first. There you have it, the installation of the Zeta handlebar risers and handlebars. That converted this bike from a one inch handlebar into a bike that takes a one and an eighth inch handlebar. The combination of these risers and the handlebar with a new sweep and rise gives this bike that perfect one inch higher than stock that we were looking for. The ergonomics for this bike is now gonna be perfect for the customer it's intended for. Thank you very much for joining us for this Zeta riser and Zeta handlebar installation. Please join us for our next episode of the Zeta installation process where we install the Zeta armor handguards. These handguards are a great way to protect your levers and your hands when riding through the bush. Now also at that same time, we're gonna be installing the optional turn signal hand protectors. 
If you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more action like this coming directly to your inbox, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad. I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chaparral Motorsports. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, take care and ride safe.